Hey guys, this is Dinosaur Drawer, and today it's day 13 of Inktober. The dinosaur on the list for today is Stegoceros. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right once again. But, um, yeah, this drawing was something, because it started off really good. Like, I really love this pose. It looks so dynamic, and, and like, it actually looks like... And it's a hard, hard to draw angle as well, like, but somewhere I messed up really really bad and you're gonna see that uh by the way make sure you stick around until the end of this video because at the end i'm gonna be comparing this version to the one that i did exactly one year ago and you guys are gonna see if i've improved or not so um like i said this pose is really dynamic and honestly i didn't have a lot of reference so i just i just went with the flow you know like i just started drawing and eventually this post started to pop up and i liked it so i decided to use it in the final drawing and then uh, i created something like a little bit of a background but eventually i'm gonna start coloring this and when i start coloring well okay let's just a little backstory first so before i created this drawing i drew the uh, Dromaeosaurus, which is a really realistic drawing, one of the most realistic drawings I've ever made. And I wanted to achieve the same result, but in a shorter amount of time. Well, like, I got punished right away. Like, I messed up so bad. So what I did is I used very vibrant color immediately, without having, like... Because I did do, like, a little bit of... Um, what do you call that again like a gray under drawing where you're just gonna put like shadows where shadows are supposed to be and then but usually you just put uh, a color over it that's not too vibrant a color that's a little less opaque and uh but instead of that i just used a very opaque color and a very dark and vibrant color um and so the sky looks way too blue the trees look way too brown and the dinosaur is just it just looks so cartoony it's not even funny as you can see i mean it looks okay but only if i had the time to actually layer this like usually you put layers on layers and then eventually you're going to achieve something that looks similar but it like you have more going on like more details going on so the pattern i came up with it looks pretty interesting until now but <laughs> again as soon as I'm going to start coloring it, you're going to see I mess up so bad. This looks good, but then I'm going to go to the underbelly and like the rest. It's so, it looks so bad. Um, so I'm kind of embarrassed. I, I did, at first I didn't want to post the vid this video. But anyways, like, I mean, of course I'm going to have to post this video because it's like, otherwise there would be like one day missing out of the whole Inktober series, which would be a shame. Um... So we're, I'm just going to have to accept that sometimes you have those moments where this is just going to happen. Uh, and it's not, it's never going to be perfect. But we're going to compare the two. 2023 versus 2024. So um, honestly, I think I didn't have a lot of time 2023 either because I didn't even color it. It looks very bland. I do. Like, it is like, I mean, it has a little bit of detail a lot of good shadowing uh that's a good thing but uh overall i don't know if it's better or not because the pose is very standard because it's not that dynamic but let's see uh let's compare it to 2024 so here we have 2024 and uh i mean it does have a background it does have color the pose is a little bit i mean a lot better in my opinion it's just that the colors don't really they're not really matching it's it's not looking very well <laughs> there's no contrast between light or dark at all so yeah i mean what do you guys think uh let me know in the comments below what you think about the drawing and this video in general and don't forget to subscribe